guess what? We've got another Descenders video here, and we're going to be checking out another modded map. How's it going, everybody? It's me, Marcus, and this is another map made by Rosie at Rage Squid, and I already saw the preview of this one on Twitter, and <laughs> this place is it's nuts. I mean, the work that Rosie does when it comes to these modded levels is unbelievable. I mean, he works for the company, so he obviously has some skill when it comes to creating levels but I mean check this place out it looks super realistic I know I'm kind of on this realistic level kick but it's so fun to play realistic levels in this game because the game itself is kind of based around super unrealistic levels but getting in here and playing some realistic levels it just it brings a new style to the game and it's so much fun for me so this is the uh, STMP line and I mean you can just see that this place is gonna be awesome so I'm going to check it out and hopefully it is as good in the game as it looks here in these pictures. So Rosie says that this is a technical trail and it's inspired by several mountain bike videos out there. Rosie's all about maps and levels that are inspired by actual videos and real life things. So it really adds that extra realism. That is not the trail. <laughs> it adds that extra realism because it's inspired by something that is real, so... Dude, I'm gonna jump up short. This place looks amazing, too. This is really nice looking. I'm learning the trail. This is actually my first run through here, so... I don't know this trail at all. Man, I overjumped that. Jumped right into the face of the next double. <laughs> I love this, though. Because it does look realistic. There we go. Got that double that time. Over jumped it. I like it. The technicalness out here. I don't even know if that's a word. But just how technical it is is awesome. Going super slow around the tree. I think this is a drop. Backflip off of it. Oh, and there's a hit. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool i love these maps that rosie makes rosie made the original bike out map he made the uh the cambria trail that i rode in the last video and he's made this one there's also a really big map that he's made too that i haven't ridden yet it's mount rosie actually i'm trying to do an alley -oop three or actually it's really a 270 i'm bummed i didn't actually hit that hip jump back there i want to go back and get that this is technical right here. He wasn't kidding. <laughs> That's actually really tricky around the tree right there. Because you can't see. The tree's in the way. This is tough right here just because the way the boards are. There's the end of it. Oh, you've got an another one, but you can actually hit that, which I missed. <laughs> These jumps are interesting. Ah, uh, back here again. I would say that this is the most realistic map that I've played so far. The Cambria Trail was pretty realistic, but I would say this one probably has that one beat. At least by a little bit, just because the way this one is just in the woods like this, and everything seems to be pretty small scale when it comes to the jumps. At least compared to how a lot of the other levels are. I mean, this would be really gnarly in real life. But, <laughs> in the video game, in the video game world, this is uh, definitely a smaller scale. This is crazy. The trees actually getting in the way makes it, makes it harder to see. <clears throat> that was kind of dumb. I don't know why I did that. But I like how this has ups and downs. Like, you, you're going up the hill and down it. It's not just all straight downhill, which is what we've seen so far in this game. It's just basically been all downhill mountain biking. So this is really cool that you have up and downhill sections. <laughs> Over jumping the jumps is really easy too. Oh, that actually turns to the right. Oh. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm gonna do a clean run top to bottom here anyway at the end of this video. I think this place is gonna be one of those places where I will be able to do a top to bottom run. We'll see, I think I've said that in the past and I couldn't make it happen, but I think it could work here. Oh, that's a big jump. 
That's a really big jump. Try and get the speed for this one again. Yeah, there it is. That was sick. I love this show. This is so cool. It's a completely different experience. Just because it is uphill and downhill, it's more realistically scaled compared to the other trails that I've ridden. It just is crazy how the level is what makes the biggest difference in this game to where how it feels. Um, you ride those downhill levels and the game just feels like super arcade and I mean it's overscaled, that's how those levels are. And I've seen people saying, oh this game is just, it feels way too arcadey for me to enjoy. And the stock game, oh dude, <laughs> oh my god. The stock game is very arcade. I mean, and the way the bike reacts in the air is super arcade as well. But when you get on these levels like this, where, yeah, that's the end, that's the end. But when you get on levels like this, where it, it really brings the speed of the game down and it brings it back to a more realistic type of game, it makes the game feel completely different, which is so cool to me. So if you're looking for a realistic trail, this is the spot. This is definitely what you're looking for if you're looking for that that mountain bike trail type of vibe. <clears throat> Hopefully this makes it a little bit easier. <clears throat> or not. <sighs> Still case it a little bit. <clears throat> Honestly, this is making it more difficult. <clears throat> Top to bottom is fun though, trying to do the whole thing. That's where the real challenge comes in. Because you see, you saw me get to the to the bottom using the checkpoints and everything, but going top to bottom all in one run is a whole different ball game. It's really cool in first person though. Can I get this jump? Barely. I thought I was thought I was gonna clip on the top of that thing. Here's this section. I don't have to worry about the trees this time because I'm in first person view. <clears throat> that section down there, if I get past it, I might have a little bit more luck. But I don't need to remember what comes after that section that I keep screwing up. <laughs> oh my god. I jumped all the way up the hill. Tried to jump over it. I'm going through this section pretty quick though, just because I've got it figured out pretty good. Oh, that was clean. My God, dude. I'm just gonna finish this part out. Trying to go from top to bottom is like, way too hard for me to do. I'm gonna get it though, it's just, <laughs> I'm gonna just go through the course one time in first person. Here we go. Going pretty good now. Oh, this part. Okay, you can go straight. This is kind of the easy way. Instead of snaking back and forth, you can just go straight, straight across the log. I didn't take that line last time. Then you go back up, then it drops down. I love that. You get a really steep section, then you go back up the hill. That's a tree. I'm gonna take the S way this time. This is really tough. First person, not so bad. Actually, that wasn't bad at all. <laughs> I almost crashed right there. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't. I should have. That clip off. And off the trail. <laughs> Super easy to get off the trail, especially with all the trees around. You gotta watch out for those things. <laughs> Hip jumps are tough. Oh, that's right. There's this part. <laughs> Somehow managed to make it through there. And it snakes back around. <laughs> Another backflip off the drop off. Oh, they're straight into a huge double. Oh, that's right. That's that really big one. <sighs> Try this again. Let's see. 360 off of it? Dude, that double's huge. I'm just gonna drop straight off. I think it'll be easier to 
Make sure that I have the speed for this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I sent it way too far that time. There it is. Super clean landing. That felt good. It looks really awesome in first person when you when you hit a clean landing like that. And then you got some jumps down here at the bottom. Kind of in a line right there. This one right here is kind of odd because it's at the top of a hill. It's kind of a tricky one. Oh my god, in first person, that's so cool. Let's try this again. What if I hop at the top? Oh, I kind of... <laughs> I want to try that again. I want to see if I can actually jump and land. Like that. Oh my god, I missed the jump. I'm just gonna roll off of it this time. <laughs> this is so cool though. Dude, it's so tough because once you get going down the back side of this thing, the bike kind of. The back end gets a little loose. It's kind of tricky to control. Yeah! Back foot. Oh, that was clean. Yeah! Alright, I'm gonna do a top to bottom run now. I have to. I need to stop promising top to bottom runs. Because every time I do that in one of these videos, I can't seem to get it done. That was nice. I actually landed on the landing that time. It's super fun to go fast, too. Backflip off the drop. Alright, here it is. Here's the section that I cannot seem to get through. I need to just go really slow. Oh my god. <laughs> Almost lost it right there. Got through that section. Okay, I jumped off the track. I don't care. <laughs> I made it. I, I haven't crashed yet. That section right back there is the worst for me. So the fact that I at least got through it without crashing makes me happy. That's all I care about. Let's see if I can get through this part though. Because this is not easy with the tree in the way. It's not too bad here though. I'm doing pretty good. This is the farthest I've made it so far in one go. I think this is a drop off. Oh yeah, it is. That's right. Because I hit the trees last time. I was going a little slow through there. Got the hip jump right there. Oh, this, this section. I'm going to crash. Somehow I made it. <laughs> I surprised myself there. I really thought I was going to slam. Because it's so easy to over jump or under jump. Alright, not doing too bad. This is where the drop off is and there's a really big jump at the bottom I think. Yeah, this is that big one. I made it. That was clean too. Even though I just straight aired it. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this thing. Doing pretty good. Over jump. Kind of landed in a downhill though. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not think I was going to make that. And I jumped off the trail. I don't care. <laughs> landed on two wheels and I'm still going. Oh, I've got this part though coming up. As long as I can get over, over the landing, I think I should be fine. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh well, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna run back through this whole thing again. <laughs> I think that'll be a little bit much. There it is. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh well, close enough. It wasn't a full top to bottom, but 
I'll take it. You got to see the whole course a couple of times. Thank you guys so much for checking this video out. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.